love sending Kim pictures because she gets irritated. Whatever irritates Kim, I like Too to do. funny, mama. <laughs> so that I was like, I hit him too. Like a song. Hey everybody, welcome to Two Funny Mamas, the podcast. Two I'm funny, one my funny mama and a dude who pops in periodically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sherry Shepard. And I'm Andre Lavelle. <laughs> and we got Chris Denman on the mic. The one. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, thanks for uh, dealing with, uh, we have some technical issues this week. And Sherry, you know what? You take a beating for... Uh, for for letting kind of running the show but you know what a soft leader this week so thank you for being cool i know you miss kim so i put her glasses on for you <laughs> you know what your behavior pre-podcast this is not surprising <laughs> oh my gosh those glasses are horrid on you i don't know how you she take them off so does you. this these are ridiculous. because first of all her 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 sculpted features are more beautiful it's her features are a little softer there uh she's got dimples to set off that crazy cat lady look. It just, it doesn't yeah, work for I, you. I you cannot be Kim Whitley. Okay. So you have to stop trying. We are um, over My here. My chest is too small. <laughs> <laughs> we are over here, guys. And I know you're going, where is Kim? Kim is in... Uh, New Mexico. Okay, I wasn't going to say that. Oh, okay. But this is the problem. We, you get too comfortable. Well, you I didn't actually, tell me what the, what are the parameters? Tell me what the, the parameters, parameters are. Just follow my lead. Okay. Okay. This, because I, I didn't even get to explain why you're sitting here, and I wasn't going to say I was going to. Well, say they happy that I'm here. Uh, I read some of the emails. Okay, we you're jumping way ahead. I'm still talking. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to be the pretty much the crux of our night. Kim Whitley is filming a movie. No, no, excuse me. It's a TV series with uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the guy that was married to Courtney Cox. Uh, I don't know. David Arquette. David Arquette, yeah. David Arquette and a, and a plethora of other actors. And it's uh, in another state, but as Andre already had Diary of the Mouth. Well, the, the, when you was gone filming movies, we told where you was at. You was in Canada and you- Who was, told? You did or no, Kim? Kim did. And she had all kinds of people bye. filling in with, all right, bye. Bye, bye okay. Joshua. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. It's partial life. So Kim is in New Mexico and she's filming this TV series. So she couldn't be with us. Now we're on a Zoom because we- And I'm the last resort. This is, thank you. I couldn't get nobody. Bring your butt in. I what? Because we had technical <laughs> difficulties. And there, and I, you know, I'd already said that I don't, I'm not shooting this podcast without Kim because I don't like to have guests. Kim is good with guests. I don't want to have guests. And so- um, But we family. And this is why I said, so it's supposed to be Siobhan- Kim's road manager and Andre and me and Siobhan flaked out because she ordered Instacart and they were late and she said the her food couldn't sit out in the hallway that long. Well, she basically I think she didn't she want to do it. She said you was bossy and she didn't want to be here with you without Kim. That's I don't believe she said. she said that. I think she didn't want to be here with you. Oh, uh, me and Siobhan, we cool. That's not what Siobhan said the other day. She was like, Andre, get on my damn nerves. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, so Siobhan, that's a lot. huh? That's a lot on her nerves, huh? That's what she said. No, it actually was on her last nerves. That's what she said. So I tried to text her and I said, we haven't started yet. You could still show up. She hasn't answered me. <laughs> so Andre. I bet if I text her, she answered. Why don't you text and say, Siobhan, are you still coming over? So no, I'm I, just going to say hello, Siobhan. And why she say hello, Andre? Well, of course, anybody would because she's going to be like this. Oh, gosh. Type in hello. Stop hating. Stop hating. <laughs> So it is Andre who is lovingly and graciously filled in for Kim. And I'm, I'm really glad to have you. I'm glad you're having me. Thank you so much. We were having really good discussions before we started. So and now I'm blank. It's okay. <laughs> no, you know, here's the thing. You just go with the flow. Yeah. We start talking and things will happen and things will come up and you just go Oh, I'm not flow. worried. I just need to know what your parameters are. Because if I go left, you know, you, you treat me different. Yeah. Y'all can talk about mukbangs and booty holes <laughs> and all kind of stuff. Okay. Then, so well, one I of the parameters it, is, is, is stop being issue. so nasty. I mm. don't like it when you're too nasty. Mm. Like I, I here's here's the deal. And this I just just a woman thing. Like innuendos are great. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you allude to something, mm -hmm. but oh my god! Hey! I thought that was like the ring. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the mess out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> 
She looks so pretty. Hey. Kim Whitley. Can we hear you? No. Put your, put your sound on. You. Wait you a minute. <laughs> oh is my it, goodness. Is it I on? Yes. I, yes. I didn't think you were going to join, Kim. What? Look, first of all, it said somebody by the name of Beth, so I was scared. <laughs> Get whoever that is. Who sent you the email about the Zoom? Well, y'all look pretty. My light is good over there. <laughs> yes, it is. Your studio is the bomb. She's, she's eating. She's eating even on a surprise drop No matter where she is, she's going yeah, to eat will find the podcast. Food. Let me tell you something. Kim went shopping yesterday in New Mexico. She got back. The valet wasn't there. She had all these groceries. Well, I'm glad you said that. Girl, I left my car downstairs in the front of the hotel. You oh, can do it. They're not going to tow it. But it's been there. I forgot. Wait, maybe the ring ain't supposed to be right there. Okay, maybe I'll put it right there. So she gets to the hotel, she buys all these groceries, there's no valet, there's no parking on the premises, and apparently her hotel is in a really dangerous part of the city because they didn't have any more room at the fancy, whatever fancy motels they got in, in New Mexico. So Kim, they, Kim had to park her car on the street. And she had, did you get the groceries in your hotel room? Y'all need to turn down y'all's light. I'm about to turn this. This ain't even supposed to be here. I pulled this over. I'm what about to put this in front of me. It looks great. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. Yeah, you that look really good. pretty. Is that my wig that you have on? No, that's her hair. Stop it. Is that my? Huh? What? Who's does that belong to? The hair that's coming out your scalp. Is that my wig? Okay, I borrowed some of them and I gave some back. Cause I was looking for straight to wear today and I couldn't find it. So I had to put curly on I, and that I, looks really much like mine. You know, it's hilarious, Chris. It's like we wear a baseball cap. She spotted it immediately. That's my hair. <laughs> Ain't no cubs or nothing on it. How she just, that's my hair. Yeah. <laughs> she knows exactly where it's frayed and everything. Yeah, I might. Y'all notice Kim, <laughs> Kim has joined us on Zoom because we had some technical issues that we couldn't do our regular, the way we normally do it, which is even better because so Kim joined us on Zoom and her hair is straight and she's about to do, what's the name of your TV series? Uh, it's called um, Hot Pink. Hot Pink with David Arquette and Sarah Michelle Gellar. Oh. <laughs> yes. And Kim Whitley, when do you start? Or are you self-quarantining? I'll stop self-quarantining because they don't want you in these streets. Um, so I start on uh, Friday. I was trying to take that name off. I put the name. Y'all don't have a name. Oh, I see how you do it. You got the queen right there. You got the I queen. Did. But I know. I see what they did. I see how they did it. They did it like that, and then you don't see nothing. But look oh, at my dinner. This is this is y'all talking about. Can y'all see what I'm eating? What is it? Olives, grapes, grapes, and potato chips. No, no. got a lunch meat and some crackers. Crackers. These Grape. are brown rice crackers, some hummus. This is this is how I'm struggling in quarantine. <laughs> <laughs> I think we make some salmon. Tonight. That's what I'm gonna make. Some salmon. I don't have a. I don't have a um. A, um, stove like you had, Sherry. Oh, and in my hotel room in Vancouver, I had a stove and a refrigerator. I was able to cook. I had pots and pans. Do you have that? For what? To sit on the microwave. <laughs> it sounds like a representation issue, Sherry. Are you in a hotel or a motel? It looks like a motel. Fair no, point. it's a hotel, but who you know? It's beautiful. What channel is this show on? Is this is this a Facebook Live thing, Sherry? It's a oh, it's a streamer. It's a is it HBO Max? No, it's a Netflix. It's Netflix. Okay. Well, but, 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 huh? No, keep going. What's funny is how your face is beat. Did you work today? I did. I did this. Shit. You can tell when me when I'm not when me or Sherry are not working. This is makeup when you're not working. <laughs> this Kim Whitley makeup. You can tell Sherry got hers professionally done. Yeah, I got mine professionally done. Hair and everything professionally done. So you like yeah. like how I'm looking? Yeah, you look good, Andre. Thank you. Look. Well, that looks cute, Sherry. You did that real Janet Jackson kind of. I know. Up. Listening to Andre, he was like, put it back so you can see your face. Forget Andre, it. very controlling and bossy. No, she's the one. 
She is. And that's too. my opinion. And I gave the opinion. I said, your face look good. Pull it back. And it was wrong. Your opinion it was all the way wrong. But it was okay. But look, look. So I went shopping. Look what I found. A bracelet? Bangle? What is it? Yeah, this, this is a bracelet. I'm in um, New Mexico. Okay. It's made out of aluminum. And why did you get it? Because I, I wanted to be different. It's not silver. It will tarnish. It will never fade. But I didn't realize, and it's so strong, you can't open it up. So it <laughs> Oh, wow. You got to, no, no, no. Don't do it. It's going to hurt your wrist. Put soap on your wrist. And, and then slide, it'll slide on. You're supposed to be able to just to go click. Oh, no, you're going to break your wrist. So I'm going to make it a nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's okay. funny. Yeah, just um, put soap on your wrist and it'll slide right on. It don't make no sense after you lose 30 pounds to have to still put soap on your wrist. <laughs> well, that was my know, fat girl problems. It's those little things. You still got to get rid of your fat on the wrist. But um, I think aluminum, isn't that what you wear when you have arthritis and it helps for arthritis? Aluminum? No, I think that's, no, I think that's um, copper. Copper. Oh, so it's not, okay. So it doesn't take away anything from your joints. Okay. All right. But it's aluminum. I thought that was interesting. It's aluminum, but it's not. It's copper. We, um, we, uh, so we started. We're having to, we're kind of winging it this, this week. Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. Tell them. Tell them what happened. And no, uh, Chris already feels really, really bad. And, and he can feel worse. <laughs> I don't want to make him feel worse. How you think I feel? Chris, Chris feels so terrible right now. He, he I, and I, I feel bad. Although I'm a, you know, I'm a blast his ass when we get done. But I feel bad right now, cause he's he's trying. Chris is the producer. No, Chris I'm does like, try. But now you're on. Chris now you're on. Now you're on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Chris can't even laugh. He feels oh, so. Oh man. Now I gotta let I gotta let our viewers know. And Chris, you can. Uh, uh, why don't you put yourself on so our viewers can see you? We're on Zoom, so everybody. Oh, can we're gonna do that. Way. Oh man, I don't even have the right camera. Hang on, let's see. <laughs> so while Chris is trying to put himself on camera, and I'll tell you why we're on Zoom, guys. <laughs> we oh, did. This is, what a what a unceremonious debut! What a crock <laughs> of sh exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's to tell you about. Chris is uh, our, the producer of our podcast, Two Funny Mamas. His company, Mid Coast Media, and Chris does an amazing job. He does our live. Usually, stuff. usually. <laughs> This is why we have Kim on Zoom. This is Chris Denman, everybody. This is Chris for you. Hey, Look at Chris. Arm. Look at 13, Chris. 13 hours You better, you better oh. be glad you look cute. Why we talking? Chris. Hi, Chris. Take, stop it with the nasty. Take I was just, all I did, I just put a little meat in my mouth. That was it. I don't understand what the problem is. <laughs> so we are all on zoom now which is actually great because everybody's face we're just missing siobhan but uh chris produces our podcast he does an amazing job he well now it's zoom i should text siobhan and tell her to jump on oh tell her yeah put it on zoom and tell siobhan to jump we on we need zoom. to do a, a charity zoom and just have like 20 people jump on like hey why not no, like we should just have our viewers just put the link out publicly and have our viewers right. jump on our Zoom. Cause that's a, so we're on I Zoom. Approach to, yeah, let's just Facebook Live it for the rest of the time from Sherry's phone. But, this but, is a, this is, we're on Zoom today, our viewers and listeners, because we we did a, an amazing podcast on, on uh, was it Monday night before Kim left out mm -hmm. for uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico to film her TV show. And it was, you know, we, we don't go on any kind of script. We just flow. And it was one of those podcasts that was amazing. Kim says it was one of the top 10 that we've done. I don't know if it was that good. But I said, thought it was top five. Wow. It's amazing how, how badly you screwed up, uh, Chris. It went to the top five. Yeah, so, I would, it, it's funny how that, yeah, the one that goes away, like, oh, that was the one. That and talk was, about how great I was on it. Yes, Andre was on. It was fantastic. Mom was on. We did stuff where we played with Alexis and Siri, and it was it was just pretty amazing. It was one. You all will never see it now. <laughs> At one time I was amazing, <laughs> and she gave me credit. You'll never see it. They, it no, was, no, no, no. They, they can see it. They just won't be able to hear it. So, so that was the podcast yeah. that you guys were supposed to see. 
uh, on Thursday instead of this one. And, and we did it and it was amazing. And it was so good. Uh, Kim texted Chris and said, I need a couple clips because we probably can monetize this particular uh, episode because it was so good. <laughs> you are really, and so really going over. The, you are very I, yeah. confident in yourselves and how great that was. I've seen a lot of podcasts. It was fine. It don't was- no, don't be don't be trying to minimize it now, Denman. So I'm in my car driving. Kim is in New Mexico learning her lines. When I get this call from Chris, I was like, Hey, Chris, how you doing? He was like, Yeah, I'm not doing good. And, and I already know when it, Chris is like that. And he's, so there was a technical issue with our podcast. We had a new engineer who, I don't know what button he pushed, but our sound, you can't hear the podcast. You can see us, but you can't hear the podcast. And I said to Chris, it's okay, Chris. I mean, it just happens. Life happens. Cause I couldn't remember what we did. So I said, well, let me call Kim and see if she can redo it. I don't know if she can. I called Kim and I said, we lost the thing. Kim starts cursing and going off. I, no, no, I didn't, Chris. I, I didn't Chris like that. Yes, you did. You was like, that's some bullshit. I can't believe him. That was one of the top 10 podcasts. And we get, I specifically texted him after it was over. And I never text Chris after it was over. And I texted him and I said, send me that clip. And you tell me he done lost all, this some bullshit. He done lost all of it. We, and she was just going off. And I was like, oh, this is bad. So I called Chris and, and I said, I, we, we gonna have to do the best of two funny mamas. He felt so bad. He really did. So instead of doing the best of two funny mamas, I said, Kim can't do it, but I'll pull in Andre and Siobhan and maybe we could just have fun because Andre is always down for a good time. So he was- You wouldn't think it, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> he don't look like he always down for a good time. No, look at his shirt. The shirt say I'm down for a good time. The way he, no, he be. What? Why is he like that? I, I don't wild. know. You ain't understanding, Chris. I be wild at the end of the day. I just... Yeah, I, yeah, he does a lot. He is wild. Out. Like Andre, makes sure he's not around anybody. He he is the safest, <laughs> uncovetedest person I know. Cause he just he came to stay with Kim. Cause he don't want to be around nobody. I don't understand why. Cause. Kim is like a village. Never <laughs> ask to come stay with me because it's only me and Jeffrey. But anyway, back to Chris. Oh, so, oh we're going to keep that going. Yeah, we got to keep that going. Okay. So yeah, yeah, Chris, we got to keep it going. So we pull, so Andre comes, Siobhan, her Instacart people are not there, so she couldn't jump on. So we're waiting and waiting for the podcast to start. And there's all of these issues and Chris is feeling worse and worse because they got to replace their board for the sound and they got to do this. So we've been, we just been waiting and waiting and Kim is texting me. I can't believe the podcast hadn't even started. Meanwhile, I, Kim, I've used about 300 sheets of your paper for the printing. I've been printing out scripts and, and excerpts to books and everything. So thank you. Cause I asked Andre, I said, Kim really usually doesn't, uh, she doesn't like when I print out stuff on her printer cause she doesn't like me using her paper. He goes, well, she ain't here and it ain't my paper. So print away. <laughs> That's what you said. Andre. <laughs> so I've been printing out a whole. I'm but I'm not you, Andre, stuff. in charge. Are you serious? <laughs> That's what he said. It's Andre. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah Chris, don't be messing up the sound no more, man. Don't be messing up the sound. What's wrong with you? Now we got to do ADR and we got to overdub. What's wrong with you messing up the sound, man? Oh, Did she use the gray printer or the black printer? Oh, no. Uh, the gray printer. The gray printer. With That's new- fine. That's a laser printer. Yeah. Okay, as opposed to the other one. The so, black one is an inkjet. It's a little more. Oh, that's know. more cartridges. You don't have so, a dot, dot matrix. Yeah. I have yeah. one probably <laughs> under the desk. It is the dot matrix. So Chris comes and he's. Oh, he's, Chris got jokes too after he did two days of fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> so he, Let, let's break. Let's break it down. Yeah, let's do. Let's break it break down. It down. He's trying, but the board they gotta they have to replace the whole board, Kim. Is this this the board this tonight? Thing? They replaced oh, it oh, tonight. Oh, Siobhan is jumping in. Oh shit. There's Siobhan. <laughs> we got the whole game. Get Click your, the sound. Click audio. the sound in. We can't your hear you. Sound. Click your sound. Can you yeah. hear me now? 
We yeah. can hear you. Now we can hear you. Siobhan, we were just talking about how these two will try and book podcasts and we bend over backwards to accommodate times and we get people and we bring on new Siobhan, people. Siobhan, Siobhan, what time was the podcast supposed to start today? You could have made it over to Instacart and all. What time was it supposed to start? How many hours ago? It was supposed to start at six. And what time is so, it? It's seven fifty nine. So it's eight o'clock. <laughs> Two hours later. With Two Jack. hours. I'm not even supposed to be on it because I didn't have time. Remember, I was like, "Oh, I'm busy." Y'all out, of, out of fifty two episodes, <laughs> out of fifty two episodes, how many times would you guess that we've started when we're supposed to? Uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Actually, that's ac- I think that's accurate, and it was probably because we told Kim the wrong time. Two hours though, and and let me just go ahead and bring up. I'm just gonna bring up one little point, Siobhan. You know there's a problem. Have we ever been on a Zoom? <laughs> okay, so you know some shit done went down, okay? <laughs> so Chris tells us, he comes back, he FaceTimes, and he's like, the board's gotta be replaced. It's just, I, whatever y'all wanna do, you know, understand, I feel, I'm so grateful, you so patient, but we're here. So he said, we could do a Zoom. So I said, yeah, let's do a Zoom. So it actually worked out. See, there's a scripture in the Bible, Romans 8, 28. This is all things work together for good. All things work together. I know you know. To it. them that love the Lord. And what's the rest, Siobhan? Andre. To the, and who are, who are called according to his purpose. And what's the rest, Kim? Blah, blah, because blah, 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 blah. I, wait, I'm not finished. Because the light within them will forever shine. <laughs> I knew she was going to make up some mess. No, no, I didn't. Deuteronomy 17. She's got that hotel Bible propped up where we can't see it, Sherry. (laughs) Did you say Deuteronomy? She in Deuteronomy. She Deuteronomy. She ain't pronouncing it right. Oh, I just got it. I just got his glasses. Good glasses on? Okay. Good glasses. Not the ones with the missing side. (laughs) She said his good glasses. This is funny. We're all here. Yeah, because we never get to see Chris. We never get to see Chris. This is a really great Zoom today, guys. And actually, somebody, somebody, Kim called Cigar Lady, sent in a, a few comments, and she said that Chris and Andre should take over the show. What do you think about that? It wouldn't be a show. It would be a fiasco. <laughs> now, see, this is an opportunity, Chris, and then you messed it up, man. This is finally, I could have, this could have been me and you, bruh. This now we got a big Zoom break. with all these talking heads. Right? <laughs> that's what you do with Zoom. You Siobhan talk. left. I know. Oh, Siobhan left. I was going to scream. I was about to scream. Please have my phone froze. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. We're going to let y'all leave. Go ahead, Chris. Go ahead, Andre. We're waiting. Hey, let's talk uh, blue chairs. Andre, what's going on in that blue chair to the right of you? Is that all right? Oh, it's looking pretty good. It's looking real. And I was rubbing our legs earlier. I think he, said my leg looks, he said my legs felt soft. He asked if he could rub my leg because it felt soft. It looks soft. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you just got to let him feel good. Andre just oh, hasn't felt the leg in so long. Look, his thumb is going like this. <laughs> his thumb is just, it's only his thumb that's feeling my leg. Like he's too scared. <laughs> Uses other fingers. Because if Sherry. she started laughing, I don't want to get my fingers wet. You know she squirts. She pee. She, so, you know, she'll pee on you. I ain't going to try. What? <laughs> what are you doing? What? This I just why you pee, though. <laughs> everybody no, knows you pee. No, everybody doesn't know. Everybody that. doesn't pee, Andre. She peed in the chair last okay, week. Why do you okay, why are you living in it? This is what happens when he leaves the <laughs> show. Oh. All right. Did you... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sherry, what, what project? I say you pee and there's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Sherry, what project were you working on today that they did such a good job on you your See how that goes, Andre? Okay, so I'll let you leave. I won't say nothing. Oh, jeez. What'd you say, Chris? What project were you working on today that made your face look so lovely that uh, Kim was talking about earlier? Where were you working? Because I host my show, Dish Nation. So I had to host it. I didn't expect... I was on my way home to... Um, just chill out with Jeffrey. And then we had to, I had to rush over here. Do you have any apples, Kim? Yep, whole bag. Okay. Stop buying those apples in a bag. They're not good. Because they could, you know what? I don't have 50 shows on the air and millions of dollars in the bank. So guess what? I get the, buy, the apples for $5, Sherry. When I get to your level, I'll buy the $2 apples individually. <laughs> Why are you the supplier of the apples? 
First of all, ask that question, Andre. Yeah, why is she the supplier of the apples? Because when I come over here, I eat apples. She does. <laughs> and I've got a whole bunch of peanut butter because she made sure she bought it so we wouldn't run out of peanut butter. <laughs> I That's what it was for. Because I eat peanut butter with my apples and I bought Kim like literally 94 packs. It was the biggest thing of peanut butter. <sighs> So yeah. that's, a friend. that's a friend who doesn't come by and eat all your stuff and replace it. That's true, because a lot of them, you know what, come over and don't replace nothing. They don't replace I it. I almost said it, Siobhan. The Lord grabbed my tongue. Ah. <laughs> I try that's to hilarious. replace everything. I'm going to start buying you organic apples, though, because those, those uh, other They apples. don't last as long. They don't have all that preservative and chemicals in it that I need for the apples so they can stay on the counter longer. <laughs> Because you like your fruit to look pretty. It just be sitting up there for weeks. Weeks? The green apples been there for two months. I was like, why haven't they changed? <laughs> the hamster the didn't even want a piece. Oh, oh, God. He's so yeah, oh, no. How many people have died for Kim's apples? Yeah. Yeah. Dived like, like this? <laughs> no, he said oh. died. Oh, died. died. <laughs> Died for your apples. I want to show y'all something weird. Okay. Cause so look right here. Y'all see that eyebrow? Yes, yeah, kind of not straight. No, no. Do you see the crunchy stuff in it? Ew. No. I don't see it. What kind of work you doing in New Mexico? <laughs> oh yeah, I see it. What do you see need to wa wash your face, Joshua? No. <laughs> Thank you, Siobhan. Okay, we see it. All right, that's enough. Oh, sorry, sorry. We see it. What is that? So I got my eyebrows microbladed a week uh -huh. ago. Okay. So it was a week and a day. So she said, you can't let any water touch it for a week. But now it's been a week and a day. And tomorrow will be a week and two days. So I looked at her little aftercare stuff, and she said, you can put water on it. So no ointment. So this is the skin, I guess. But I can't pull it off because then it'll pull off the. It's like a tattoo. I don't know. But I got to go film on Friday. What am I going to say? Uh, don't mind the dandruff in my eyebrow. Yeah, eye dandruff. <laughs> Sherry. This Just is leave it, baby. It'll fall off. But will it fall off by. Should I brush it? No. 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 Uh -uh. Just it. leave it. Just leave it's it. They can work around it. They just press around it, but not on it. Just press around. No, 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 no. There's <laughs> chunks. There's <laughs> like chunks of skin in there or something. Leave have it you, alone. Have you? Yeah, leave it. Has the rest of your body washed in that week? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Damn, Chris. I gotta I can, know. I can wash my face like this. Look, look, look. This is how you wash your face. <laughs> and then you go like this with a rag. <laughs> How's the water go? How's the water go? <laughs> That's not how I wash my face. That is Look, a scare. Me either. That's not how I wash my face. How do you wash your face, Siobhan? How are you washing? Y'all don't wash your face like that. No, show, you're show, kidding. show us how you wash your face, Siobhan. I thought everybody washed their face. Well, first of all, if it's in the shower, it's different from when it's in the sink. So if it's right. in the sink, I take a wonderful warm wash rag and I continue to wash it and then I would proceed to dry it. If it's in the shower, then you splash the water. So, so, so use how do you rinse rag. it in the sink? You don't, what do you mean how you rinse it? I put all of my stuff on first, my face, my face wash, get it all lavendered up and then I continue to Rinse my rag in and out and wash it versus splatting Ooh, water use everywhere. A rag. That's wow, not you use my, a washcloth. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. How do you do your? How do you wash your face, Chris? Now you want me to say I don't have any rags in my bathroom? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not falling for that. Not for a minute. I've got a a loofah, dude loofah. Yeah, for my face. You loofah your face? <laughs> Get it all off. <laughs> That's good. Damn. He exfoliates. He exfoliates I, every day. That's good, Chris. I don't know if that's yeah. good. Hey, I've got Twitter. I peek in on black Twitter, and this is not. No, no, no. <laughs> White people, two things. White people do have uh, tools to bathe with, and we do wash Ooh. our legs. We do wash Ooh. our legs. I read a thing. <laughs> Tell me this. I read a thing that said white people don't scrub their legs. They just let the, the suds clean it. <laughs> that was the funniest thing I think I'd ever watched. Did you all think that about me? No, that's how I wash no. my legs. Mm -mm. <laughs>
<laughs> We're not going to tell like you that? what else happens on here with people, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. I let the sales run down there. It's fine. <laughs> down where? Down my legs. Who's going to go down there and scrub? Just let the sales get down there. <laughs> Yeah. I'm literally learning a lot about all of you. How do you wash? Sherry, how do you wash your face, Sherry? Oh, you go to uh, Andre, go ahead. I, I don't use a washcloth because I have makeup on and, and I, I used to have- Oh, white, yeah. I use white wash cloths for my face, only for my face. So I have stacks and stacks. But what happened is that it gets so much makeup on, it's hard to get, right. on, unless you put a lot of bleach on there. So uh, I will, first of all, I use- um, wait, 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 wait. Where's the bleach? What? Go back. Bleach is on the washcloth when I wash it. Not you on the bleach? face. No, only on the washcloth. Just for the washcloth. Just for the washcloth. To when clean I wash them. Them. Oh. But on my face, I use uh I use an oil, a pre-cleanse oil to get all of the makeup off, like two applications. And mm-hmm. I do my entire face because then my lashes will come off and I do it twice with oil. Then I do cleanser my entire face and I'm throwing water. So by the time I'm done, there's water everywhere on the floor. Oh, my bed. See, all- I don't wear makeup. See, so you telling me. Yes, so see, I'm but, do makeup. but Siobhan. I, do not, I end it with Noxzema because Noxzema literally makes your skin soft. So I do six applications of cleanser on my face. Put that on my list. I got to get some Noxzema. I used to do that all the time. Jars. And when I say I scoop. And it's going to sit. Okay. I, no, I, I, use, I use it, but I've moved. It's it's. A, it's in one of the many thousand cabinets in the bathroom. You just gotta pull it out. It really makes you. I used to out. use it all the time. My mother you, uh, li- just loved Noxema it. Noxema has been around since 1835. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Sometimes the simplest stuff, as opposed to the real expensive stuff, yep. works the best. And works I use better. Toner. Yeah. I use Turner. I use eye cream, and then I use a serum all over my face, and then I use a, a, a moisturizer. You know what I, I use? use? Like. Uh, cotton cloths on my face as well. Only white <laughs> and virgin goat milk. <laughs> hey, hey, here's a little known fact. Noxema was introduced in 1914. Really, you looked that up? Oh, during the war? Yes, 1914. Well, what, was it, what was it used for originally? It just says, it, it was, says people use for, it doesn't say. 19- oh, it was originally. Yeah. Do we um, a physician? It was originally the- used to start fires. Hey, do you guys, do you guys want to say hi to one of our engineers real quick? Do you want to come say hi? Who's is it the one on that the doesn't work? know where the button is? Yeah, you can blame. Let's play some blame here. <laughs> no, that's not the same one. This is Key. Oh, I do. Hi, oh, hi, hi, hi it's Key. not me, but it was my team, so I will take one for the that's team. That's right. I put. That's I put right. Strong, that's I right. Put strong people in charge, and this hi, is Key. Yeah. And this uh-huh. is how I'm rewarded. I was like that. Key. It's my team. It's my fault. I'm totally fine with that. Siobhan's had enough of you. I won't. I won't just pass the blame along. As a leader, I'm not going to do that. So. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so you're the one that's supposed to get cursed out, huh, Key? Uh-huh. <laughs> Key. How you not? How he pushed the wrong button? <laughs> I um. Yeah, we're gonna be working on training. She pleads the fifth. She pleads the fifth. Uh huh. It's my fault. I will take it as a leader. Um, and people under me, you're just supposed to take that. But I'm oh, so she's telling Chris, you're supposed there. to take it, take it for her. Uh-huh. So question, Key. Yeah, hey, Chris hey. was supposed to. Chris just, was supposed to take it for you, Key. Yep. I thought if I put a strong person black in woman. charge, yeah, say black woman. Yeah, you don't be afraid. Okay. Okay. He thought if you put a strong black woman on, see, you can't win for losing, Chris. I, I can't <laughs> win for losing, bro. Here I am. Yeah. But Key, I want to know the dude. It was a dude, right? Yes, it was. So the dude that pushed the wrong button, is he also the dude because he pushed the wrong button that blew out the board? <laughs> <laughs> the soundboard is gone. I like Kim, I like Kim's technical analysis of things. It's pretty great. You know, it's pretty great. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Um, I want to know if he pushed something bad. He must have pushed something bad. Because okay. the board that they have is a really it's they got a soundboard where they're it's it's equipped to do concerts. So it's a huge. So maybe it wasn't equipped to do a podcast with two women. You know, and they just you know what? Didn't, huh? it, couldn't, it couldn't deal with your amazing strength, hilarious podcast. I deal with this every and, day. 
No, is, is that day. not is it's not working? No, because you know what that right. tells us. If Key got to deal with this every day, she dealing with excuses. Every Look at day. Key. So Key, let me let me ask you something. If Chris wasn't there working and y'all didn't work together, would you holler at him? Yeah. <laughs> she said, "Yeah." No, be honest, Key. Like, would you give him a shot? I would. I would actually. Okay, you would. So he got to look. If he starts talking, then I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to just sit over there and look pretty for me. Thanks. Kind of thing. Thanks, Kim. So. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, that's hilarious. That is you feel hilarious. the same theme going on here. Just be quiet yeah. and hey, look pretty. Andre, Andre, look at Andre in the comments. People are just going wild for how handsome he is. Can't get a, an ounce of respect over there at the house. Can't get a wow. word in. She basically told me just shut up and sit here. I said, look how, hello. Sherry, Siobhan, look how proud Kim is for prompting such a response. Look oh, how yeah. She's, so she's happy. happy. I don't get a lot of people. the field goal. So. You don't, like, you don't get a lot of what, Key? People that back me up here. So I just, I'm a pretty strong personality. So. Here we go. There you go. Well. Back, though. Hopefully y'all will get a new board soon. Kind of vital, kind of vital to a studio. Yeah. <laughs> put a piece of tape over it. Say, "Do not push." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody oh, need well. a little, a little sticky note by yeah. that button that says, "Do not touch this button." I got one. <laughs> oh God. Oh, that button push though. <laughs> I said, no, 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 not by everybody. It got a big old sticky right there. Do not push unless you can afford. <laughs> if you break it, you buy it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but you can almost break it. <laughs> Test it. Take it for a spin, but you better be glad, Chris. This is a good Zoom. <laughs> Yeah. I think that's why I'm laughing so much because I'm just like the the part where I'm just angry about whatever. But it, the part where you're like, it was one of our best ones. Shh, everything you do is funny. Like get out of it. No, that one was pretty hot. It wasn't. Yeah, it was listen, that American Hearts run. Come on. Well, we can still do that one on a Zoom. So we have yeah, to have whatever, it. whatever. It was no, all we'll again. Do it. We'll do it because this one is airing. This one is airing tomorrow, which is today, Thursday, right, Chris? This. When that we're doing right? Oh, well, we better get on off and let him get to editing because tomorrow is around the corner. No, he will let us know when we hit the hour mark. We'll, we'll talk about it right now because Kim, uh, we're going to repeat a couple things that we said on the original podcast. Both of us, Kim and Tess, <laughs> Kim, <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> are you, this Chris, this could have all been yours. Could have. If you hadn't pushed the wrong button. Right. If you hadn't pushed the wrong button. <laughs> yeah. This I was behind to door number three. <laughs> so, Kim, we're going to do the heart, uh, the American heart, the heart disease one. So we're, we're going to do this one professional. So everybody got to, this is, this is between you and I. Kim had to do a video. <laughs> she had to do a video. Kim has uh, teamed up with the American Heart Association. No, we're not doing that today. You don't have on red. I don't know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter because- I, I got to learn my lines. Oh, because oh, you God. need all right. Because your thing is over in a minute. No, it's not. It's not over yet. It's still- No, no, it's not over, but you got a time frame. My bad. It's Yeah, it's still happening. So that's what okay. I'm saying. But I would just want to- I just want <laughs> It's like the Brady Bunch, the, the just about dysfunctional that. Brady Bunch. That's what this is. The Go ahead and share. Dysfunctional Brady ah. Bunch. Yeah, that one. How do we do that? No, this way. You gotta go. That way. Other way. Oh, jeez. She's Louise, you're doing it the wrong way, Andre. Oh, it's that way. You fingering the wrong way. Just put it down. <laughs> She's Louise. So. <laughs> That's what they all Kim mean. had, Kim <laughs> <laughs> Kim has teamed up with the American Heart Association, and and, and I have also teamed up with the American Heart Association. Uh, I've teamed up with the American Heart Association Go Red for Women. So and so Kim had to make a video with the, for the American Heart Association at you know a few days ago, and she didn't have any extras to be in her video. Looks like a halo. Now I can't. Yeah, are you putting the lamp above you? I'm trying to get my light right. Go ahead. So. <laughs> 
it's so very angelic. it's very specific what I can do for the American Heart Association. So I actually was in Kim's <clears throat> video because she was encouraging. Kim encourages it encourages everyone to go to the doctor. Am I right, Kim? What what yeah. do you do for American Heart Association? Okay. Because it's been a pandemic and a lot of people have not, you know, even myself skipped the doctor's appointments because we were afraid, you know, we can't go in the doctor's office. So we missed a lot of important appointments. So like our mammograms, you know, check our blood pressure, diabetes, all of that. So I'm encouraging everyone to uh, call their doctor and make that appointment. The pandemic, they got all kind of protocols in the offices. So, you know, I just want everybody to go and call the doctor. And, and, I, um, mm -hmm. and I've teamed up with the American Heart Association Go Red for Women, which really we're specifically targeting women because heart disease, cardiovascular di disease is the number one killer amongst women, especially women of color and young women under 55. So it's a really serious thing. And so uh, uh, American Heart Association Go Red for Women has teamed up with CVS Health where you can go to 1100 CVS's, their minute clinic and get your numbers. And there are five numbers that you need to know. Your free order, screening, you can go and get a free, free screening. screening to get the five numbers that you need to know. One is you, what is your uh, cholesterol level? Cause that can, that can cause strokes. What is your HDL, which is your good cholesterol? You need those two numbers. What is your body mass index? You need that number. What is your blood pressure? You need that. And finally, what's your blood sugar? Yeah. All of these things, if they're not uh, aligned, can cause you to have a heart attack or a stroke. And the good news is, is heart disease is 80% preventable. Yes, if, it is. If you can, it's all about your diet and movement and exercise. And so those numbers are, you know, and a lot of people, Kim, are afraid to go to the doctor and find out what's going on because, you know, but here's the thing. If you don't find out what's going on, if you don't have your health, you can't yeah. do anything. You can't take care of your kids, your family, your purpose, your passion. So we're encouraging you to go to CVS. To the We're encouraging clinic. you to go to cvshealth.com okay. slash go red or uh, go red. <clears throat> I'm going to just leave it at CVS because I can't remember offhand the other website. Right, but what ha what is happening while you're thinking about that, I want people to know to go there because there's a certain amount that is free. Even if you're afraid, yep, you should go no matter what and check out your numbers. And those numbers, and it's free. So if you go to cvshealth.com slash go red, you can download a voucher to go to 1100 uh, participating CVS uh, one minute clinic. I'm doing and that today. Numbers. And it's going on, it's free from May 9th through May 15th, where it's completely free, those screenings. So go, even if, so if you can get to your doctor, that's great. But if you don't have uh, a doctor that you can go to, this is free and you get those numbers. And then you can proceed from there because I got to tell you, Kim and I, between the two of us, we have lost 61 pounds, yeah. 31 pounds on my end and 30. Oh gosh, here we go. She got to bring up 31. You couldn't just left it at, we lost 61 pounds. You got to bring in your little raggedy number. I lost 31 pounds. Well, I lost 30 pounds before you. I encouraged you. So we are trying to do, it's not a diet. We're trying to live healthy. Yes. And, and, and if you want to know more even about American Health, you go to heart.org. Isn't that, Siobhan, give them the information for my, my side of American and, Health. And when you act this patient. way, this is number one cause of strokes <laughs> when you just get mad on the Zoom. <laughs> yeah, it's heart. Being friends with Kim Whitley. Heart.org. Heart.org. So can, can men get free checkups too? Yes. Oh. Yeah, but women are, is that what's happening? We can? Okay. That's on your side. Uh, you'd have to check when you go to cvshealth.com. That's right. Once you, we, you know, we're, you know, when you talk about go red for women, we're specifically targeting women because it's the number one killer amongst women. But I, I say the weight loss, and I'm teasing Kim, is a byproduct of good health. And between the two yes. of us, we've changed our eating habits and our mm -hmm. lifestyle. And I've given up stuff. Kim's given up stuff. Right. Uh, because I had to get my blood pressure. I didn't know my number. Did. Right. I, my my uh, sugar was up. And the doctor told me if I didn't get my sugar uh, in under control, he's gonna put me on some medicine. So that's when I lost weight, start working out. So, um, and my blood pressure is good now. So uh, American Heart uh, Association is definitely doing a lot 
for people. So it's a good, a great organization. Me and Sherry love it. Um, it helps men and women, uh, no matter what your nationality or um, anything about you, that you are a human being. I might take my dog there, but American <laughs> Heart Association. I was just saying that if you could, they're good. It's a good organization. Don't look at me like that. So why would you take your dog? It, because, because they help calm. everybody. They have like oh, to calm you down because hey, animal. Does yeah. your dog calm just, you? My dog uh, calms me down. Yeah, I, yeah. Sh Siobhan, what the, what's my other information? Can you please pull up the American Heart Association so I can look at Smart and Sherry? She threw in all kind of facts that I probably sent her. <laughs> It's just heart.org. That's all. It's heart.org. It's heart.org. They have org. all the information that they need. Yeah. I was going to ask you, Kim, because a lot of people say, well, how, when you say it's exercise and movement, what are some of the things that you change about the way that you eat in oh. order to, you know, the, the losing weight is, a, you know, you look great. What kind of stuff have you changed? You got more fruits. That's oh, all there's I an apple. You got more fruits. I eat these all day, every day. When you I held up it. two apples, you held up I, two apples. In I got, day. I got grapes. I got, I eat lots of blueberries. Um, but I changed that, you know, instead of cakes and candies and I want something sweet, I grab an apple, uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, I really changed, um, and water, um, a lot my more intake. water. A lot what more kind of stuff than. have you, what kinds of things have you given up as far as eating that you found was not working towards good health? Oh, you mean the chocolate bars and the constant ice cream um, and eating a lot, you know, I think it was, you know, portion size and just, as you all said, I'm always eating, but you see, you saw me, I was eating a couple pieces of sandwich meat. I had some grapes, a little hummus. You know, things that I didn't used to, to eat. Um, you know, I used to eat, you know, I used to eat, I used to eat a pack of gummies on every flight. I had to have these, remember that? Every flight. It was like a superstition. Like if I didn't, something was going to happen to the plane. So I would get, it was a pack of gummies and something else I had to travel with and I ate. I can't remember the other things, Siobhan. It was two things. And if I had a connecting flight. I had to get gummies is number one. Yeah. Now you don't eat those. You don't eat those anymore, right? I haven't had a pack of gummies in a year. Not one. Can I say? Uh huh. No, go ahead. So what? What is it? So I had to give that up, and I was drinking a bottle of wine before a show. Now I ain't been back to the show yet. We'll see what happens. I was thinking, you know, I would drink wine before the show, and when I did stand up. <laughs> If I had five shows in a weekend, that's five bottles of wine. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, Kim, you got to stop drinking before the show. This is terrible. Um, Kim, she drank so much one time. We were saying a prayer before the show, and I prayed for her. And she was like, yeah, yeah, just the same for Sherry. And walked off <laughs> in the middle of my prayer. I prayed such a good prayer for her to have a great show. Remember she was her taking too long. You was taking too long, and it was one of the big, big, big shows that we do. Um, and I was nervous. You had been doing it. You know, 3,000, 4,000 people. I got to go out, and you and you busy talking to the Lord for 20 minutes? About you. She I got a long prayer. She, she's a long, I love the Lord, oh, too. Thanksgiving. But the Lord gets dinners, my, a message. We'll be uh -huh. cold by the time she gets a amen. <laughs> God, people nodding off, like, oh. <laughs> well, now I and know. bless the people in Ethiopia. Like, what? They're not here eating this food. She be going, Jack. But that's why she's so blessed. She talked to the Lord longer than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talk to him so quick. He be even like, wait a minute, who are you? Hello, hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello? I'm gonna do, but I talk to the Lord constantly. So, you know. But wait, I got y'all. I got this mysterious. I, I want to show y'all mysterious scratch on my back when I, I woke up. I woke up this morning and there's this scratch on my back. It's that weird, freaky hotel room you're in. Look like some kind of. Uh -huh. Is it a ghost? Look at, that, look at that unholy photo in the background. I, I, it hurts, but I don't know. How would I have gotten? You think an armadillo came in the room? What scratched me? Scorpion. On my back? It was a scorpion. Don't say that. I does it hurt? It hurts. Yeah. Wow, is it like a, a uh, it hurt? It probably was a spider. 
Hold on, let me show y'all. Okay, we don't really need to, we don't need to see that. Let me pull my, hold up. We don't pull need, my... we don't, we really don't want you to pull your pants down. <laughs> y'all don't want to see it? Yeah, let's see, yeah, yeah. No, we really don't. Tell me what y'all see. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's a little bump or something. No, yeah. it's a scratch. You no. did that sitting down on the plane. Huh? You did that sitting down on the plane. No, no, it hurts. That, was, that wasn't a good view? It was partially like your back and your butt all together. Wait, don't say that because they're the same size. Don't say that. <laughs> That's what my brothers used to call me teardrop. They said my butt came off my back like a teardrop. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Siobhan hung up. She did. <laughs> you know Siobhan's real religious. She don't like seeing that kind of stuff. Was it bad? Chris, cut that out then. Cut that out when you edit. Oh. Cut that out. It no, you're going to keep it in. You put it out there. You like Portia Williams. You put it out there. You get what you get coming back. Was so it you, bad, Chris? You got Chris? anything you want to show us, Chris? You that got any pimples on your butt or something? Yeah, you that. Anything? <laughs> oh, the gun oh, show. Show your tattoo the again. Everybody show. always wants to see the your tattoo. Oh, you know, that's, that's look Kim's at that favorite. sleeve. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what is that? That's what is Saint, it? St. Michael sending, uh, sending the devil out of, out of heaven. Can we see it a little clear? Can you put it? I don't get the devil in St. Michael. Oh, look at that. Wow. I don't see. Where oh, is St. Wow. Michael? I see it right there. His head's where? Right. Point. Head, it's upside sword, down. The wings, devil. the legs. What? That's, yeah. Devil. You know, it's the, the tattoo is designed for a woman to be up under Chris's arm. So she can clearly see it. That's well, why obviously, I, me and Chris are the same height, so I'm not gonna be able to see that. <laughs> You're not sticking. It depends on the position. <laughs> it really depends on the position, Kim. <laughs> it's just look, Chris is all red. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Chris has seen my crunchy eyebrow and my scratch back. It's some problems over here. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I've seen her thigh with the. She said, "Got cellulite." So, what did y'all think about that scratch? Anybody? I mean, do I you want us to say it was a spirit? Like, what do you, Sherry, what do you think it was? I think it was a spider that bit you. Mm -mm. Or ant. And dragged it? No, it's a scratch. I think, oh. you, I think you, from sitting down, like where it is on your back, like it's like sitting Maybe down. you lost so much uh, stuff, you know, you lost that weight and your skin is sensitive. Like it's very thin now. So it scratches <laughs> easily. <laughs> it was Siobhan is crap. What did she say? It's like you know, you're doing a you got skinny skin. You got skinny skin. Paper skin. Paper skin. <laughs> paper skin. Sherry. You got the paper thin skin. What was she doing in Vegas? Could this have something to do with it? Oh. oh. Question, Chris. Mm -hmm. That was a really great question, Chris. What I was in Vegas State? I wasn't today? doing nothing right. What happened in Vegas stay in Vegas, but I wasn't doing nothing. No, no, no. No, what happened in Vegas stay on your back. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's mark. Don't be trying to make fun of me. Wait, look, look. My light. <laughs> this is what's so funny. My light is dying. It don't last an hour or so. It's dying. Put it in the dollar tree. Look, look. I brought an extra light over here. Put it in front of you. Put it in front so of you. Put it in Don't, front of you. No, you no, not there. In you have to put it in front of you, Kim. You can't put the light behind can't you. Can't be a backlight. <laughs> now is Netflix is Netflix gonna cover that if you break it? Like I don't know. Oh my gosh. We gonna no, Chris. They got that. They got that credit card on file for incidentals. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I mean, good grief! You look like a ghost with it behind you. I can't get it. Yeah, like it looks great like that. <laughs> Use it like an umbrella, the lamp. <laughs> so this is my new ring light. <laughs> Available at WhitleyProducts.com. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is so oh good. That's Andre, all I got. I'm curious. Andre, you're around these two all the time. They were talking about staying healthy during quarantine. Are, and they never help? asked me anything anymore. They just know everything now. Did they help? And you work, you're a workout guy. You're a martial artist. You, you train. They didn't ask you try, you wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Chris is a martial artist. Chris is eating. <laughs> I, I do. Chris, I do want to say Andre, as much as we talk about him, we used to talk about Andre had gained weight and his stomach was getting big 
and he was he's losing weight like you he's you could tell he's bulking up muscle wise are you andre yes. it in. he I'm is him, yes, he is. are you andre yes <laughs> are yes. you look at these two that's what happens when you live with two women <laughs> yeah we're like three sherry three <laughs> see shabon this is the microphone i got for tomorrow that's all i got oh I sent them the specs. We'll see what happens. This is, I got to do a voice. Oh, look at this microphone. Hell mic. Yeah, it is. You're using that for a hell mic? Huh? You're doing it's that for a professional job? Yeah. <laughs> Chris, don't, don't even ask. Like, I might, need, don't to, I might <laughs> need to go. You think I need to go to Best Buy? I forgot my microphone and my Apple cutter. Those are the two what? things I forgot. Where's the rest of that talk boy? Like, that's. <laughs> That was the thing Macaulay Culkin used in Home Alone. Like this is... it's this little thing. A lapel. Of button. all times, you decided to pull that out. Mm. Of all time. times, I said I'm gonna take this just in case. I said I'm gonna take this just in case Chris messes up the sound on our podcast, and we have to do it. <laughs> and I grabbed something, and I grabbed the light just in case. I said <laughs> something will happen, and Chris, something gonna happen. We got to do this podcast again. I said uh -huh. I'm gonna need a light. And I'm gonna need a mic. And I brought the smallest ones I could fit in the suitcase. Sherry, not maybe Chris will graciously, you know, kick off a live and have some fun with us. No, it's you expect this to mess up. Mm. Well, this is the thing. I can't believe I showed my back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. We asked you not to, but you were on national television. On national well, Chris will fix it for me if it's a problem. This is my mic stand now. Well, I'll add in a, a tattoo on your lower back. There you go. <laughs> some flying monkeys or some flying elves or something on the back of your back. I don't want y'all to see what I got on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is going on with you? <laughs> I'm surprised you're not showing what you have. I don't on. need to show what I have on. It you can't... do every other time. Well, Sherry, I like that shirt. What does it say, Cinderella? I like the little booty shorts. I mean, that's nice. This is a uh, Cinderella because I was uh, I played the evil stepmother on Broadway, and Kiki Palmer was Cinderella. So this is the shirt. That that's cute. You want you to stand up, show the booty shorts. I don't need to show them. You know no, why I don't want to show? Because my booty is showing. I know. That's the whole purpose. <laughs> Andre, this is PG. This is PG thirteen. Thank you. I Listen, Reverend. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. Don't don't make me go further, Andre. Don't do it. I'm gonna tell the nation about you. Leave it alone. <laughs> oh, I want to say um, there's a really great show that I want to shout out. If you want to laugh, that I've been watching tonight. It just aired. Yes, uh, to, it just aired Wednesday. It's called The Upshaws, starring Mike. Yes. Dad. Kim Fields. It was created by Wanda Sykes and Regina Hicks, who created my pilot, Black Don't Crack. And it is a really funny, funny, like back to Norman Lear, Archie Bunker family sitcom. It's really funny. I watched three episodes and when we get done, I'm a binge watch. What are you doing on the phone? She's laying down. Hey, what's up? This is what we deal with all the time. Really? Uh, we're doing our podcast, but Chris, Chris messed up um, the sound. So um, we're going to do it on Zoom. So, girl, we got four boxes, Siobhan on there. We got Andre. We got Chris. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> <laughs> no, they can't hear me. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, Oh no, not again. I scratched my back. No, I ain't gonna no. scrub the chair like this. I ain't gonna scrub the chair out. Go take a pee. Go ahead. Excuse me, I'll be right back. <laughs> Andre. Oh that's why I didn't rub my leg too long. Chris, you have got to fly in one weekend and just deal with this for a weekend. I, think, I, think I, got I will be I will be there this oh, fall. Okay. And it's gonna be to... like it's I I'm looking forward to it. Actually, so Ryan, you can be quiet. You can Welcome to the man show. No, and we gonna no. talk about things that men never no. do that women do. Have you ever asked this is not your opportunity, Andre? No. Hey man, hey man, come to the bathroom with me. I would filibuster till Sherry gets back. No. <laughs> we never do that women do. Hey, let's have a birthday for a whole month. Let's celebrate our birthday for a whole month. Please don't mention birthdays. birthdays. Please don't mention birthdays. I have been getting Kim's birthday. <sighs> together. So don't don't mention that. Let's move on. Yeah, that's, that, that's, that's what I 
That's when I need to come out. That's when I, I got to come out. Hey, y'all. Oh. Hey, hey. Can y'all see me? Yeah, we see you. We can see you. I'm moving to the big chair. There you go. Careful. Yes, we can hey, see Chris, you. Does this shirt make me look fat? I like the shirt. Who got what, who I got you that shirt? Or did I you put on his good stuff. That guys never do it. Women do all the time. I would never ask a dude if a shirt made me look fat. I don't care about your opinion and if I look fat in my clothes. <laughs> I, yeah, Andre Siobhan, Andre shows up. He's got the he's got the clean beard. Nice. Yes. I've been working. I've been at the studio and office for like 13 hours a day. Oh, throw on the camera. You look great. I look like a ghost that got his ass kicked. Like this is this is bad. News. See, when Sherry texted Andre about the podcast, he went into motion. He started getting it together. As soon as she said, "Can you do the podcast?" Oh, Joshua, take care of yourself. I gotta clear. I gotta get this together real quick. <laughs> I look like this all the time. What you talking about, Siobhan? I'm always prepared. What you mean? He's ready. He's staying okay. ready. I you ever see a, li you ready you see a lion it. stretch? You don't yeah. see a lion stretch. That's uh, okay. ready. Oh, ready. You're right, Andre. You are so right. We we'll take it. We'll take it. Kim's going to be sleeping five minutes. Yeah. Why Come on. Do that voiceover. <laughs> That's what did you get down when you rip one? <laughs> what, did Kim, what did Kim do in Vegas? Hey, I don't know. Wait a you know what, Chris? I really can't answer that okay. because I told her before she left, don't call me and I won't call you. And we stuck to that. <laughs> so I can't tell you what she did. She was on her own. I was so like, I'm going to be watching Lifetime. But she used, you know, I think she just, she chilled. She she really, because she was like, I don't even want to stay on the strip. So I, I like think this she chair. Chilled. I'm talking to chair. So. This is the way it's supposed to be. Got it, got it. <laughs> You know what feels really oh, good when you go to the bathroom. <laughs> good job, Sherry. Good job. Good to me, little woman. Good job. Now, what were we saying, Chris? It feels so you good. Sherry, have we advertised the comedy show? Did we do oh. that on the segment yet? Come on, be quiet. Men are talking. Thank you, Siobhan. <laughs> <laughs> we got to. You don't get an invite again. <laughs> Kim and I are doing a lot. She's still on the phone back there. Yeah, she don't care. Like we, and she didn't even like uh, uh, clog out. She's gonna forget and like she's gonna fart or do something. She's, no, she's gonna take her she's she's gonna take her shirt off, her pants down, so I'm sorry. something. <laughs> yeah. that's, your, that's in your bag. No, so they were talking about rushticks.com slash two funny mamas. Get your tickets for the online show on the 21st. On the Zoom, are you able to put up the Chiron of a uh, Rush Ticks? We'll add yeah, that in. Yeah. We're excited because Kim and I, this is our first comedy show together live. Uh it's it's completely live at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's May 21st, so it's next Friday, on May 21st. And like Chris said, you can go to rushtickets.com slash mamas to get tickets to the show because it's only gonna be available literally for 48 hours and then it disappears. You will never see it again. You will never see what we do again. Chris is not gonna put it up. So come and see us do stand up. You don't have to leave, you can sit right in front of your computer and watch us do stand-up comedy. It's next Friday? It is next Friday. Next Friday. I'm, that day, I'm busy. Thanks for asking though, but I'm busy. <laughs> I got lots of things going on in my life. You booked, Andre, yeah. you booked? I'm, I'm busy, man, shoot. I would've came too, but I got stuff to do. You need to do it out back on the tennis court. So we did this thing here. So we produced something and the sound worked. Um, we did a live stream. It's an outdoor board. board. You say it's for concerts. It's not for little piddly. For we did a we did a stream. We helped St. Louis Ovarian Cancer uh, Association, and part of it was Greg Warren, who's um, he's been on Last Comic Standing. He's done Late Night, all that stuff. He's from here. He did 20, 30 minutes of comedy. It made a world of difference having ten to fifteen people. We pushed everybody up close. It was so good. Well, it's very interesting because uh, we're going to do it from a sound stage. And the company that we're working with would rather us not have an audience because yeah. they're doing it so that we can hear the laughter from um, the people watching us live and interact with the people who are watching us cool. live. And yeah. at the end, if you guys stay, we will do a Q and a uh, question and answer session live. So they want the folks that, who are watching live to feel like we're talking to them and not referring to people in the audience. So mm -hmm. we we're going to have an audience, but we've decided we're not gonna have an audience. We're gonna perform straight to the folks and we'll have two big audio boards 
so we can see who's on the Zoom and we can refer to them and say, hey, guy with the tattoo sleeve, you know, Chris, like we'll be able to see you. Siobhan. We've, never done, we've not done that. So that'll be interesting to pull off. So, I think you'll do a great job. I, maybe we could help you, Siobhan. Like, what would you ask in a Q&A? You get one with Sherry Shepard. What are you asking her? Ooh, if I got one with Sherry Shepard, I would say, what would it, if I was a male? Y'all are still talking? <laughs> we're on a podcast. No, we're, we're on a Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, am I a female or am I a male? How do you male. come into the camera? With a male, a I would say. She's in the uh, Zoom. <laughs> I would say if I were to spend one day with you, what would make your heart happy? Oh, if you were a man? If I was a man. If I was a man, that would be the question. Like you did a q and I would say if I was to spend one day with you, what could I do to make your heart happy? That's how you know she's actually a woman. That was way too thoughtful. <laughs> that was way too thoughtful. A man would say. That's say a that. question from a man. Like, do y'all ever think, what could I do to make a woman's heart happy? No, what do I do to get it? it? Oh, jeez. Do you ever- Here we go, Sherry. Didn't we just say this is all he say? That's all he talks about is sex. Chris, do you ever think, what can I do to make a woman's heart happy? Sure, yeah. yeah. Of course he's going to say that, because- Well, maybe you wouldn't put heart in, but would you say, what can I do to make you happy? Or if I what would you, what would you enjoy? You I would say, I would say, what would you enjoy doing? Like, what would, what would you enjoy spending your time doing? So okay, it's so similar. Lack of better wording. No, yeah, you're, well, you're be way better, Mr. Siobhan. But do you really care, Chris? Be honest. Do you care? If I'm going to spend time with him, I do. Yeah, Only. if you want to spend time with him. Okay. Well, that's where we're coming from. We're not talking about if you just want to have sex, because your questions would be different, Andre. Okay. Okay, but I wouldn't let you ask a question. I'd have you blocked out the people in the sound booth. I'd be like, <laughs> block that stalker looking one out. Don't even let him get by with a question. So I can see nasty all in his eyes. Andre's question, what would you do with this? Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Andre, what would you ask, Andre? What would your question be? I would have no question, because I watched the podcast. See? <laughs> See, so, <laughs> I, mean, I already know. Right. Like, oh, no. Chris, this is why we cannot put him on the dating game. This is <laughs> he would be horrible <laughs> on a dating game. He'd be great on a dating game. No. <laughs> no. We got to know. Sherry, we got to know the answer, though. Oh, what would make my heart happy if a guy asked that? Yeah, oh, they get a day with you. Yeah, I would say if you rented, a, if you had a car and we drove down, uh, like Pacific Coast Highway, mm -hmm. took me to a really romantic dinner overlooking the, I, my favorite place, even though I can't swim well, is the water. So a place that's overlooking the Pacific Ocean, a really romantic dinner where they're playing, they come to your table to play or they're playing jazz. I, want, I would love to then go to the beach. You have blankets in the car and like some little, little, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Like little appetizers. And we actually sit on the beach and you build a fire and we sit on the beach and we have fantabulous like we just laugh on the beach. We maybe go like stick our feet in the water and then we come back and you have a really great hotel suite. Well, that's if I know you. Because <laughs> you. you only get a day. Remember, you only get a day. So. Say some shit you don't mean to say. <laughs> You're going to get to know and, and then you do all that. And then she calls Kim later that night and says, this cheap ass, we went out and he wanted to walk on the beach. <laughs> you know how much these shoes cost? I don't take my shoes off, walk through the sand. He crazy. No, see, you can't win for losing, man. She told me all no, because, no, because what he would do is he, no, because he would understand that she would probably have on some expensive he was, No, no, shoes. he would tell me, bring some shoes to he, walk in the sand. Well, he would provide for you some flat. Oh, Chris had to go, now I got <laughs> Let me make sure she got sand walking shoes on. Cause I done created this whole <laughs> date we gonna do. We ain't thinking that far in advance. You want to eat? Okay, where you want to go? We take you there. How long we gonna eat? Cause I got the hotel room. Horrible, Andre. No, 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 no. Horrible. Don't, don't eat that. Your stomach's gonna be no, not no. We got things to do. <laughs> Kim, what would what would make your heart happy if it was a man taking you out? Pick me up. Uh, in a limo full full with flowers take me 
to the private airport. We get on your private jet. We fly to San Francisco. We have lunch, go to a vineyard maybe. I don't know. Uh, you know, then we get back on the private jet, come back home, have a nightcap. And that's it. I got the virtual reality glasses. You're going to get on my private jet, sit the this phone. morning, and that's it. <laughs> well, the inbox is going to be blowing up. But look, wait till we see the, the pictures of the private jets and the beach houses. Yeah, because it'd be Andre with a picture of a, a, little, a little plane he got from Toys R Us. <laughs> That's cool. well, I mean that that's fun. Or you know, I mean, it depends on the level of the man. Um, a simpler man, I would. I just like to laugh, just like Sherry. It'd be fun to just go somewhere. My thing is take me somewhere I've never been, whether that be Chipotle or to a. <laughs> <laughs> but Chris, you laugh. But Kim would be satisfied going to Chipotle. She is simple. She is From simple. Private plane to San Francisco. Take me to Chipotle. To Chipotle. Yeah. I, think I always pick the Chipotle option. It depends. Yeah. No, Kim would Kim would say something like super raunchy. She'd be like, "Where are we going? Pound Town?" Like she would think like that's how she would come out with it. I feel. You like. think so? Me? Yeah, I think so. Pound Town would never ever <laughs> be the first yeah. one to put sex in a man's mind ever. Because mm -hmm. my bark is, is is. Where is Pound? Damn. You don't understand St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> what well, you take me to uh, pound down? <laughs> that is the craziest thing. I've never heard that one. Pound down. <laughs> That's but, ass white. But I knew what he was talking about because I'm a Cleveland Browns fan. Yeah, I was Kim Kim knew what was going on there. Pound town. First of all, Chris, if that's what you're doing, you're doing all that pounding, I, me and you ain't gonna make it. You gotta do some shit before you start pounding, okay? Pound town. Like, take me to, you know, Swirla Whirla town, maybe. Tongue City. Tongue City. You wanna go to straight to Pound Town. I gotta ask Siobhan. <laughs> pound Town and Tongue City. I gotta oh ask Siobhan. What would make your heart happy if, wait, I feel like I'm next to two third graders. <laughs> Make my beard stink. <laughs> Look at Kim's encouraging it. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, geez. Oh. 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 So right. nasty. Back I want to ask Siobhan. Make my beard stink. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry <laughs> earnestly asked, where's Pound Town? I, <laughs> I said, wow. I don't have men talk like that with me. I don't need, I, I never even heard of that. Uh, oh, maybe. I just <laughs> never. Oh my gosh. Siobhan, what thing would, if it was a man, would make your heart happy that a man could do for you to make your heart happy? Uh, I'd say oh, just some flowers. Huh? Stop, Kim. I'm talking. Don't let, stop. let Siobhan talk. <laughs> Did she leave? Oh, get on the phone. Oh, oh, my God. I'm pretty simple. So it could be, you know, just flowers, a nice meal. Um, if it was planned or not, take me to New York City. Let me see a Broadway play or fly me to Paris for lunch. Come back. Something simple. What about like... What about community theater in, in, in Bakersfield? I'll take a good, I'll take a good community theater. I okay. would. Not in Bakersfield, you went <laughs> four hours away in the desert. <laughs> That's where people take you to go kill you, Chris. <laughs> it was the only town I could think of away from. Look, it could be, it could be any, I mean, we could go to Vegas to, to see something there. You can go see a show, just something simple and, you know. Right, all the way to Vegas, that's simple. Let's go. Well, it depends on where you are because all the way to Vegas may not be close. You could be on the East Coast. You could be, it all depends, Andre. God bless you because that's the last place I want a man to take me to Vegas because you know he's going to take you to Circus Circus. Well, no, then let me say this. It all depends, Sherry, because I love Celine Dion. Yeah. So if you were taking me to see Celine Dion in Vegas, that would be fantastic to me. Or if you were taking Bruce me to was see. was the men down under. He wasn't. Oh, no. <laughs> No, no, it would have to be a good show. It would have to be a good show. I know a couple of the guys. They'll get us in. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I think my dream is to go to Morocco. I was, You know, I'm probably going to end up going with my girlfriends. Didn't you all get an invite to Morocco? I did get an invite to Morocco by uh, Tom Joyner. He said, mm -hmm. you got to go. 
It what was- are you doing, coffee and cuss words and chaos? What are you doing back there? What are you doing? <laughs> That's Kim- as close as she's going to get to twerking. <laughs> <laughs> Kim is like in the back of the room, but you back, you know, you know that uh, in the movie It and the clown was bouncing back and forth, bouncing back and forth. That's what she looked like. Like, I don't, are you doing That's something? Like- That's a front. You keep going, you throw that back out and can't go to work. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta work for Friday. Yeah. Come on now. I sat there. I sat there. You guys, Kim and I are doing a lot. What? I don't need to prove nothing. Gosh. Why are you rocking back and forth? You don't. Because I don't have no light. (laughs) (laughs) We have a live comedy show coming out on May twenty first, next Friday, from at six p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Oh, along these lines. Go to rushticks.com slash two funny mamas. We're gonna get out of here because Kim has a rush ticks slash two funny mamas. So I, but I wanted to read a couple of things. There's a couple of people that donated tickets and I wanted to give them okay. a quick um shout out because they my dear. Uh, let's see. Uh, we are going to give Teresa Butler wanted to get she uh, put in to receive two free tickets to the comedy show. And we are going to get you, uh, Teresa Butler, two free tickets. And then, so we got you, I'm gonna email you. Let me see. Uh, So we got Teresa Butler. And then Kim and Sherry, this is from, and Chris, and who is this from? This is from Scarlett Ekaroma. She says, I wanted to follow up with donating tickets to frontline workers. She's donating six tickets. Wow. Six tickets. So as long as you bought the tickets, Scarlett, we will get them out to frontline workers. Any frontline workers or essential workers who would love to come to our comedy show, email me at twofunnymamas at gmail.com so we can get you uh, free tickets to the comedy show. And we thank you, Scarlett. We want you to go to buyjack.com slash twofunnymamas and pick out one thing because that's just our way of saying thank you. And we sure appreciate you doing that. And then Connie May, let me see. Connie May says, I got some tickets for the show. I was wondering how it works because I'm planning to get another ticket for my other friend in another state. All of us will be in our houses. I will be able to afford them. Yes, so will you limit the tickets sold? We don't have a limit on the tickets sold. Will there be bandwidth issue? There should not be as long as your Wi-Fi works. As long as your Wi-Fi works, you no, should. They've done the, the company that's doing it has done this many times. That's right. They should. Be, so when you get um, the tickets, I believe they give you a link so that you could see us, and you just have to. It's the link for three people. Um, let me see. Uh, let's see. There's somebody who this is uh, Dantea Mitchell Hunter. She says, "I would like to donate four tickets to Two Funny Mamas live event." Please let me know what I need to do. All you got to do is purchase the four ticket and tickets, uh, Dantea, and we'll get them out. And we want you to go to buyjack.com slash two funny mamas, Dantea, and pick out something because we want to say thank you for donating four tickets. Yay. And if you workers, send us an email about why you want the tickets so we can get you some tickets for free. Uh, let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. We love you so much, Dantea. Let me see. Blessings, Kim and Sherry. We love your podcast. Can't wait for the show. I bought three tickets. Um, Oh, wow. She bought three tickets for somebody. So we already got six, four, and three. That's 13 tickets, right? So she bought three tickets. She says, Chris is awesome. I don't know how he can function with so much pressure from the both of you. That's from Cheryl Quinn. (laughs) I needed that tonight, Cheryl. Thank you. Cheryl Coonan. I'm sorry, Queenan. She is really feeling, she is feeling how much pressure you're under, Chris. And she donated three tickets. So Cheryl, go to go to uh, buyjack.com slash two funny mamas. Pick out one thing so we can get it to you and tell me what you picked out. Cause we just want to say thank you for donating the tickets. Um, just wanted you to know, oh, so this is from Cheryl Merrill. I would rank y'all's latest podcast as one of the funniest. Uh, y'all talking about Rodney giving mammograms to your interview with Nierica. She was funny. I'm sorry to hear about her tragedy. She would make a great addition as a guest on the podcast. I cannot wait for your comedy show. I know it's going to be funny. I'm going to make sure I go to the bathroom before it starts. So I won't pee in my chair like you did on Kim's. Ooh. Ooh. 
Okay. Uh, I'm not Rodney. I'm Andre. But thank you anyway. <laughs> and I don't. I didn't pee that much on the chair. <laughs> Hey, and while we're while we're at it, um, obviously we we've, we've discussed and, and Nierka's appearance was was so good, but yes. this is like a quick update. Just a massive, massive thank you to everybody. After we had Nierka on, we put some links in, and you all came through. Um, was able to lay my son to rest on Saturday like a king. Uh, for the celebration, don't think I could have done it without the support of each and every one who participated and helped out in here. And so very, very kind of, uh, no surprise, really. Your uh, your viewers, listeners always come through and they're also wonderful and nice. Uh, but Nierka sends a very special thank you during a such a terrible time. Nierka. Thank you guys who donated to Nierka's uh, to help uh, bury her son who was tragically murdered. And she's such an amazing person. And we told Nierica that she could go and do one show with us on the road. Oh, that'd be fun. You know? We get that we get that live stuff going. That'll be a that'll be a riot. Yeah. So we definitely were gonna bring Nierica with us because she's such a fun person and she probably needs to get on stage and, yeah, and she's a stand-up comic. She's a stand-up comic. So that was so great. So and I also just want to give a shout out. We're gonna play it not this Thursday, but we'll play it next Thursday. And this is to Kim. I can't wait to see us from Cameron Ivy. I just wanna give you a shout out. We're not gonna play it today, but Cameron Ivy Kim took a bunch of our clips and made a video and a song. With oh, a better than Chris? Okay. <laughs> it's, we can't compare it to <laughs> Chris's life. <laughs> Are you just not gonna let it go that Chris mm-hmm. has us on Zoom tonight? But Cameron mm-hmm. Ivory, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, we were gonna play your video so everybody can see. And when I saw it, it brought such joy to my heart. And I said to you, I can't wait to show this to Kim and Chris and Andre and Siobhan. So that was all of the things. Thank you for donating tickets. There are people who bought tickets to our comedy show that Kim and I are doing on the 21st to donate them to essential workers and frontline workers. And we really, really appreciate that as well. We're gonna give away some free tickets. So if you're a frontline worker or essential worker, send us an email at uh, twofunnymamas at gmail.com and tell us a little bit about yourself and why you need the tickets. We had people, Kim, asking for tickets for their mother, uh, for parents, for sisters, family members who were disabled, who would love to see the show. So we've got some great emails. So we just appreciate everybody and for uh, putting up with this craziness on Zoom. Anything else you want to say, Kim? Okay, she's I, eating an apple. I got something I got something for Kim, if you don't mind. Kim, are you friends with Layla Hathaway? I am. Damn. Wait, 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 wait. The fuck? <laughs> You wake your ass. You didn't say Sherry Shepard. Why are you always trying to one up? How good of friends are you, Sherry? Let's see I how was, I wasn't. I just because that's one person that I do know. And I just was like, I know. Yes, I know her. That's I'm sorry. Friend. I'm going to step back. OK. What's her boyfriend's name? I don't know. <laughs> OK. He didn't ask me if I knew her boyfriend. He said, you know, know Layla. You're talking shit. I love Layla, Chris. <laughs> Ask him again. I'm going to be quiet. No, 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 no. I know her. Damn. You know she's really good friends with Kyle, my brother, right? No, I don't know anything about Kyle. Well, obviously, you don't know a lot about nothing. You just want to one-up everybody. 31 pounds. I'm, a beast. I'm just gonna, <laughs> not going to say nothing because Kim is on her, on her tip. So ask her if she knows Layla Hathaway. Is somebody at your door? No, this is the, the patio door. I heard something. <laughs> so they're they're coming they got, back from the other side of your back. No, they said, <laughs> don't say that. They said they got bad winds here and bad the thunders. Walking dead, the walking dead. I was going to say, you've been hanging out with Heisenberg down there? What's going on? Walter White? Not one person knows what The that wind is. is kicking out. Okay, go ahead. Walter White okay. is, yes. Okay. Sorry. No, I was good. You two know Layla Hathaway and Siobhan does too. I, I wasn't aware. I don't know. I just like her. Well, what do you I know? About like her? Kim knows her intimately. I saw her in concert oh. once. I know her just from texting <laughs> when she texts me. I saw her Instagram. She don't text me. I, I only know her from the text that she sends me. So no. make sure you send her this, Chris. So. I will. I will. She is going to, she's one of the headliners or or one of the headliners for a music festival we're doing here in our, uh, 
in the same area where the big top is, where you all are going to perform. And she's, uh, she's going to come here. So I just, I saw the name and we're working on this music festival and I was, yes, uh, well, <laughs> if you mention both of our names, she will light up. I guarantee you that. She will light up. You absolutely. But, but who would she light up for more, Andre? Like if I said Sherry's name first. Or Kim you know what? She don't even recognize Sherry because she's so skinny. She's 31 pounds. <laughs> Layla and I remind Layla that we shared a hotel room on a stormy Chicago night, but she'll say that before you have to remind her. We spent the night together. And if you mention my name to her, she'd be like, who the hell is that? But you know. <laughs> Chris, when is the event? Can you send me the information? I might fly out. Done and open? done. Yeah. So, hey, VIP for you all. September 10th through the 12th. You know oh, the guy yeah. who's in charge of partnerships. So I'm coming. But Layla, never seen. I would love to see her in concert. Yeah, you'll love Layla. Booker T's on it too. It's 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 gonna it's a really cool festival. Great jazz festival. Booker T Washington. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I have one question, Chris. Wait, stop. Let me go out here and see what's happening. Oh boy. <laughs> Take us with you. Yeah, we don't want to hear no screaming. It looks like Norman Bates Hotel. <laughs> it sure does. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, <laughs> Sherry, you're calling your agent if you get put in there, aren't you? Oh my I bet. God. Looks just like she stayed at the Norman Bates Hotel. And Kim, you're not allowed to eat when you're not around us in case you choke on something. You know you be choking. How you lock the door? And I'll probably get blamed for it. She don't know how she lock, <laughs> locks the door? No, Sherry, she, she it's, mm. it's complicated, I'm sure. <laughs> she don't see the lock. It's coming. Hey, Kim. <laughs> oh, God. Don't dance. Don't dance. All right. All right, you gonna have more than a COVID. Oh, that's gonna go 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 go. Kim is dancing in the in the firelight. I guess I should say. So we're gonna end this podcast because Miss Kim has to memorize her lines for the TV show. It's very late in St. Louis because Chris has got to get this podcast out. Uh, got here. Like got nine here. hours. Seven fifteen a.m. today. By seven fifteen, so he's got to get. Oh, so Chris! No wonder you ain't got no woman. You work too much. <laughs> or maybe I'm waiting. Or maybe he doesn't, no one asks him the right question. What kind of date would make your heart flutter? <laughs> uh, now that we say that, hold on. Chris, what kind of date would make your heart flutter? Right. Listen up, Kim, listen up. I need to right. know. We gotta, we gotta do some day drinking. We'll, we'll do some, uh, some grilling, some chicken wings on the grill. And then we work it and then just like a great UFC card. You kind of leave me alone. Let me text my buddies. And then uh, I've got a few drinks in me. I'm excited about the fights. And then I come in and like, hey, wake up. <laughs> what? That's simple, no. Chris. That's simple. <laughs> Is that bad? Wake up. <laughs> That's simple. Am I, not, am I not playing the game right? Is this... <laughs> good, Chris. You're good. Mm. And he's gonna be shaking him. Hey, wake up, wake up. I'm ready. <laughs> Dude, look how excited Kim is. Kim's like, I don't have to get out. I don't have to get dressed up. All right. So really guys like, like it if we just leave you alone for a little bit. I've been telling you that for years. <laughs> you never listen to me. Yeah. Hey, you you tell I'm gonna give you a list of friends to call up. I'll hang out with them. I won't bug you. <laughs> There you go. That's wild. No talking. So you don't you don't like it when women sit next to you and talk while you're watching the UFC card. Unless Not during the, no, no, we can talk. We we talked at dinner already. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't need to be like, who what's that? Who's that? What's he doing? Like, why they is ask, I, I will ask all those questions. Yeah. So, they're they're in Kim would, Chris, Kim would be like, but I don't get it, but I don't understand. So he's jumping on him because of what I don't get it. Right. The, why, why are they hugging? I, I like boxing. I like boxing. Well, I watched why are they hugging? Andre, Andre, I watched the boxing girls with you. It, the boxing girls. <laughs> <laughs> but I try and get them both in the UFC. Sherry, she's squeamish. Every time somebody gets hit, she's, oh, oh. I'm like, oh, it's, yeah, it's bad. And she's like that in movies too. Oh my gosh. And Kim will talk through a movie. So yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Oh my oh, gosh. Yeah. Never go to a movie theater with Kim Whitley. Jesus, you'd be hurt. 
Oh, oh God. Or oh, sit oh many God. seats away. Why the makeup like that? They could have oh, done that dark. Oh, the lips ain't Oh my gosh, you see that lighting on her? Oh my gosh, they know they should. Who, who the producer? Oh, why well, did she you fall asleep in? in the middle and then wakes up and wants a recap? <laughs> what I mean? Who is that? No, this should have said, look how the director cut that. Who is the director? Let me find out the name at the end of this. You see that overcast and how they did that? See, this is film. This is wrong. You see that big one? See, that's how they covered that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell <Come you>. on. <laughs> the the home. <laughs> I just, I don't like people next to me who talk to me and who talk mm. to me. I can't take it. Now I do get scared a lot and I scream. I scream so hard. One time my Coke spilled on the lady in front of me. My drink fell on top of her. My entire like extra large Coke fell on her back. But it's a movie. It's not real. I know, but that's how good the movie is. I watched Handmaid's Tale and I was screaming. <sighs> oh my gosh. Now wait. Okay. So realistically, say we go to a wine bar and then we go see live music and then we're like doing that. Is Kim going to be asking questions oh, about the music? Okay. I'm going to yeah. be asleep. What kind of music is she going to stay up? If she not well, Chris, I won't say that because the one concert we did go to for, for Celine, she stayed away. She didn't ask any questions. I surprised her one, one year and took her to see Celine Dion. But if she goes to a concert where she's not interested in them and she mm. just stay it, let me tell you something. Kim will be asleep on the phone. It's not going to bother her at all. Yes, she'll be like, oh, that's my boy right there. Dead, she going to be dead. <laughs> so, Only because I used to not be a concert person. That is true. Now, no. what about the wine bar? Like, are you taught like on it? Like it's a nice evening and you're out like in a good chill area. Sherry, maybe you know this too. Is she like, are you actually engaging in a conversation or are you on your phone? Oh yeah, oh, no, she'll no, engage. Yeah. If it's a dude I don't know, I'm definitely engaging. But if I know you, I'm gonna be on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking that wine. <laughs> no, because you did go to a winery once when we went to the winery and it was very good. You know what really sucks is this is the thing that I'm like going to, like I'm like dating now and I don't drink because I'm diabetic. I'm a type two diabetic, so I can't drink. And most guys like to drink so it's kind of weird because you get a buzz and i'm not buzzed so yeah but i'm not dating you so that don't you smoke some weed then no i don't smoke weed because it's gonna make me sleepy i can't help you then cocaine <laughs> <laughs> melatonin I, what, what, that's what I'm saying. Like I don't I'm not quite sure what to do on a day because I don't drink and I feel you, really, you don't have to you don't have to get a buzz, but you can take a drink socially like a you can get a sudsy, you don't have to get real drinks, but you can get like a club soda with some lime in it. I don't drink either, Sherry, so go figure. Not the same. I had an answer, but I ain't saying it because I always get in trouble. But well, you know what to do on a date. What? That's why there's very few second dates. Oh, oh. What are you talking I'm going to sit about? back with my apple on that one. Damn. <laughs> right, right, Chris? Ooh, I'm, that was I'm a that was a, Oh, look at the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Chris and Kim are covering their viewfinder with their thumb. I don't know what that means. It's okay. I don't want to be a part of this. I don't, I'm not going to. Right, because if you catch a chair, you're going to knock it out the chair. Oh, <laughs> if you catch it. Said, you know what to do because there's very, on a date, because there's, there's what, never a second date. So evidently, explain it, Andre. Oh, so I don't know what he's talking about. Instigate. I ain't saying nothing. It's all good. I don't know he's, what he's talking about. I know it's something that's. He's saying, Sherry, come on now. <laughs> Obviously, you don't know what to do on a date because you don't get second date. Second okay? date. Oh, that was rude. That was oh, wow. Rude. 10 minutes later, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like, oh, that was a blow. <laughs> that's how it goes on the date. He, he says something, she don't get it. <laughs> I'm trying to rap to you. I'm trying to make out. Did you know? No, I would get that. She's I been asked that. upstairs so many times and she's like, hey, cool. Have a nice night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've eaten everything. It's time to go. I've eaten apples. <laughs> oh, it ends when all your food is gone. Is that, is that how we get our kids? When no one's calling and needs to take you away from the phone. You, no, you I, I've had my, my whole situation. <laughs> I had my dinner. It was not exciting. It was not exciting. Now, Sherry, we did have an idea, and I know you talked about the Heart Association earlier, which is near and dear to your heart. No pun intended. We had an idea for Andre to take care of people 
and he could have a van and he could pull up and he could help out women specifically. Oh, that would be good, Dre. That's nice, Dre. But you know, I I do what I can when I can. And so what would we put what would decide what would we put on the side, like his advertisement? What would yeah, how's it rental? Say? Andre, you like a bad something? What would, it, would it be, Chris? <laughs> be a bad man, my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you gonna get, a grandma. I love it, Chris. <laughs> and that's how we shall end our show. Andre will be a bad man, my grandma. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Score for Chris Denman. <laughs> Andre's, Andre's here. <laughs> <laughs> hands <laughs> on. <laughs> Manly hands. Manly hands. Oh, God. You guys, thank you so much. Watch our watch our live comedy show on May 21st. Go to rushticks.com, <laughs> rushticks.com slash two funny mamas for our virtual comedy show on May 21st. And thank you so much. We had a great time on our Zoom. Thank our guests. You know, did you have to say Zoom? Like <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you for our podcast. Thank you to Siobhan, Terry, and Andre Lavelle, and of course, Christmas, Christmas, Jesus. <laughs> and I'm not oh, God, look at you. Yes. <laughs> And thank you to Key, our sound engineer, yes. and Chris Denman and Siobhan and Andre. And thank you for watching Two Funny Mamas. Bye bye, everybody. Listen. All right, bye bye, y'all. Is a story. Dun, 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 dun. Is a story. <laughs> <laughs>